as we look out across the universe at the most distant objects that we can see, we're actually going backwards in time, looking backwards in time, billions of years. Out there, in the depths of space, lurks something so deadly, it destroys everything in its path. Explosions of inconceivable power are tearing through the universe hundreds of times a day. For years, science has been on a quest to find out what was causing these explosions. And now, at last, they may have found the answer. of the universe, the biggest explosions in nature, black hole birth, star death, just the most exotic phenomena that I've ever seen. I've been studying explosions all my life. our galaxy, they should be distributed the way everything is distributed in our galaxy, which means they should be near the galactic plane and possibly also concentrated towards the galactic center. The problem was that Pachinsky's observations seemed to require explosions with more energy than any star had ever produced. If you took a model that would work at the distances Bodan was describing, you would have to convert a million Earth masses into pure energy instantaneously, well, within 10 seconds anyway, and in the form of gamma rays, and get it out, and get it 3 billion light years to us. And so, yeah, okay, Bodan, maybe, but be good. Work on something else for a while. day went by, more and more bursts appeared all over the sky.
scientists always like to observe places where the laws of nature are, as it were, being tested to breaking point, because then we will see how robust those laws are, perhaps discover something new. And the most exciting parts of the universe, from the point of view of a physicist, are the places where the most extreme conditions prevail. I've always loved explosions. I loved fireworks. I loved to put together chemicals of different kinds that you can't get anymore and make little bangs when I was a kid, safely away from people. And the idea that uh, the gamma ray bursts turn out to be just the biggest bangs in the universe is just a real thrill. Everything, including the elements that you and I are made out of, has been made as a product of stellar evolution. This is how the uh, heavier elements are formed. So the, the iron in your blood came from the center of the star. We really are stardust. Without stars to make all the elements, there would be nothing. Because when stars die, they explode and scatter their stardust across space. It then becomes a crucial part of the dust and gas that form the next generation of stars.